So we are here to talk about your new film, Chuck. Chuck, an interesting story based on, you know, the true story of Rocky. How did this story land in your lap? Mike Tolan brought it to me uh, almost 10 years ago. Uh, I guess he knew I was a boxing fan. Um, and I was really embarrassed that I hadn't heard of Chuck Wefner, mm -hmm. uh, particularly after I studied him a little bit and found out who he was. Mm -hmm. It's a remarkable story. Uh, I didn't know that we would ever get it made, but um, it was something that I certainly thought was worth keeping on top of the desk. Combining this film with all the other projects that you do, we love to see this kind of continuity between different boxing stories that you're involved in. How did you develop such an affinity for boxing? I just, I was a competitive fencer, mm -hmm. um, and oh, then I, I had to train to box for a film about 18 years ago, and and I I just enjoyed it so much. I mm -hmm. met a, a great uh, great fighter, Terry Sutherland, uh, New York got me started and I just kind of fell in love with it and the more I learned about it um, the more profound it became to me as a sport and um, I, I, I just I, I just felt like when I when I got to know Chuck a little bit better I, I thought well no wonder this is the Rocky story no wonder this is where Rocky Balboa comes from this incredible heart this incredible determination this incredible instinct to move forward into danger, which is a sort of kind of inspiring story. When we watch him kind of go through the highs and the lows of his career, he's still a likable hero. You never really find yourself rooting against him. What surprised you the most when you learned about the story as you kind of traveled through the script and portraying the role? I mean, Chuck's a bad dude. He's done some bad things in his life. He's been mm -hmm. in some very heavy situations. But there's something about him that's incredibly charming. He's a real raconteur. He's, he's very decent at his core and sweet, um, which is my experience of most prize fighters, to be frank. I think that we get wrapped up in the idea of where these guys come from and the violence that's been inflicted on them and that they're angry, nasty people. Mm -hmm. and the reality is I think the great ones uh, are people who have been trained since they were little kids and are relatively disciplined mm -hmm. professional athletes. Um, I think the thing that surprised me most about Chuck was the 15 rounds he went with Muhammad Ali. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, Ali is coming off Zaire, mm -hmm. and arguably one of the greatest performances by a fighter of any weight class in the history of fighting. Mm -hmm. The way he just exhausted and then beheaded George Foreman was fantastic and then they come back here looking for an easy fight and they pick this guy who by all standards of measure should not be in the ring with Muhammad Ali and he just decides that he wants to be there and I think that's what's so wonderful about boxing is that in many ways it's a microcosm of life you know you the 15 rounds that a fighter goes through um, is there's so many parallels in our own lives. It was so fun to see the intersection of all these things that we see as boxing fans, the Rocky element, the Muhammad Ali element. It was so fun to tie all these stories together. When you, what was the most gratifying about portraying this role? For me, you know, ironically, it wasn't a boxing movie. Mm -hmm. For me, selfishly, it was about fame. It was this kind of cautionary tale about fame and love and how we all get drawn in by this idea of being loved by the anonymous mob mm -hmm. when the real treasure in our lives is often right in front of us um, and how irresistible that is. And that's something that I think Chuck really took a literal beating. Thank you so much. Thank you.